Shemuel Rishon, 1 Samuel 18. And it came to pass, when he had made an end of speaking unto El Shaul, that the soul of Yahunathan was knit with the soul of David, and Yahunathan loved him as his own soul. And Shaul took him that day, and would let him go no more home to his father's house. Then Yahunathan and David cut a covenant, because he loved him as his own soul. And Yahunathan stripped himself of the robe that was upon him, and gave it to David and his garments, even to his sword, and to his bow, and to his belt. And David went out whithersoever Shaul sent him, and behaved himself wisely. And Shaul set him over the men of war. And he was accepted in the sight of all the people, and also in the sight of Shaul's servants. And it came to pass as they came, when David was returned from the slaughter, Eth of the Pelishiti, that the women came out of all the cities of Yashadael, singing and dancing to meet King Shaul with tabrets, with joy, and with instruments of music. And the women answered one another as they played and said, Shaul has slain his thousands, and David his ten thousands. And Shaul was very wroth, and the saying displeased him. And he said, They have ascribed unto David ten thousands, and to me they have ascribed but thousands. And what can he have more but the kingdom? And Shaul eyed at David from that day forward, rather from that day and forward. And it came to pass on the morrow that the evil Ruach from Elohim came upon El Shaul, and he prophesied in the midst of the house, and David played with his hand, as at other times, and there was a javelin in Shaul's hand. And Shaul cast at the javelin, for he said, I will smite David, even to the wall with it. And David avoided out of his presence twice. And Shaul was afraid of David, because Yahuwah was with him, and was departed from Shaul. Therefore Shaul removed him from him, and made him his captain over a thousand, and he went out and came in before the people. And David behaved himself wisely in all his ways, and Yahuwah was with him. Wherefore, when Shaul saw that he behaved himself very wisely, he was afraid of him. But all Yashadael and Yahuda loved Eth David, because he went out and came in before them. And Shaul said to El David, Behold, my elder daughter Marav, her will I give to you to be your woman. Only be valiant for me, and fight Yahuwah's battles. For Shaul said, Let not my hand be upon him, but let the hand of the Peleshitim be upon him. And David said unto El Shaul, Who am I, and what is my life, or my father's family in Yashadael, that I should be son-in-law to the king? But it came to pass at the time when Ethmarav, Shaul's daughter, should have been given to David, that she was given unto Adriel, the Mechalathi, to be his woman. And Michal, Shaul's daughter, loved Eth David, and they told Shaul, and the thing pleased him. And Shaul said, I will give him her that she may be a snare to him, and that the hand of the Peleshitim may be against him. Wherefore Shaul said to El David, You shall this day be my son-in-law in the one of the two. And Shaul commanded at his servant, saying, Commune with El David secretly, and say, Behold, the king has delight in you, and all his servants love you. Now therefore, be the king's son-in-law. And Shaul's servants spoke eth 
those words in the ears of David. And David said, Does it seem to you a light thing to be a king's son-in-law, seeing that I am a poor man and lightly esteemed? And the servants of Shaul told him, saying, On this manner spoke David. And Shaul said, Thus shall ye say to David, The king desires not only, rather, not any dowry, but a hundred foreskins of the Pelishitim to be avenged of the king's enemies. But Shaul thought to make F. David fall by the hand of the Pelishitim. And when his servants told David at these words, it pleased David well to be the king's son-in-law, and the days were not expired. Wherefore David arose and went, he and his men, and slew of the Pelish, Pelish team two hundred men, and David brought at their foreskins, and they gave them in full tale to the king that he might be the king's son-in-law. And Shaul gave him Eth Michal, his daughter, to be his woman. And Shaul saw and knew that Yahuwah was with David, and that Michal, Shaul's daughter, loved him. And Shaul was yet the more afraid of David, and Shaul became Eth David's enemy continually. Then the princes of the Peleshitim went forth, and it came to pass, after they went forth, that David behaved himself more wisely than all the servants of Shaul, so that his name was much set by.